Hello, and welcome to another generic shooter tutorial. In this tutorial, I will be going over on how to enable and disable the pre-match lobby, so that when you're testing, you don't have to wait that 30 slash 5 seconds, or if you just don't like the lobby in general, you can turn it off, you want to turn it back on. It's a really simple system, and let's just get into it. So the first thing you want to do is open up BP Deathmatch or whatever game mode that you want to disable or enable the lobby screen. The lobby screen is configurable per game mode. So if you set it in the parent BP Deathmatch, every game mode that inherits it will also inherit your change. So if you disable it in Deathmatch, every game mode will disable it unless you explicitly enable it in one of those child game modes. So, for example, if you want a deathmatch to not have a lobby, but you want a team deathmatch to have the pre-match lobby, then what you would do is you disable it in deathmatch, and you'd enable it in team deathmatch, and everything will work fine. So, for now, I'm just going to disable and enable it in BP deathmatch so it affects everything, because that's usually what most people want. To do this, open up BP deathmatch located in generic shooter, blueprint logic, game modes, and you should see a details pane on the right listing all the default variables. If you don't see this, make sure class defaults on the top is selected. All right, so now go down to the category called game mode, and this is a built-in property for all game modes, but in our case, it affects the pre-match lobby. So find delayed start, and when delayed start is checked, what this is telling the game to do is, hey, don't start right away, delay the start and I have set it up so that if the start is delayed it doesn't do nothing but instead it shows a lobby so if you uncheck delayed start and hit compile this will cause the game to just start right away which means it will effectively disable the pre-match lobby as you see we start and we're in the game no waiting much easier to test much easier to debug things and when you're ready to bring it back just go ahead and check that box again hit compile and you are good to go. So here's your lobby again. Pretty straightforward. Um, yeah. Works pretty well. Now there are additional lobby settings that you want that if you wanted to change you can do so easily, such as if the pre-match timer is too slow or too long, you can change pre-game timer from 30 seconds to say five seconds, to say two hours, whatever you like, the world is your oyster. So Setting this to zero uh, it could lead to some strange behavior. Usually it skips the lobby, but sometimes it doesn't. Setting this to zero to disable it's not the recommended way to turning it off. What you want to do is just make sure that delayed start is off and make sure pregame timer. It's best to leave it at default if you're not even going to use it. Now, there are some other timers related to lobby, but not necessarily the pregame lobby, such as the end summary time. This is the time it takes for to move on from match win to scoreboard and how long the scoreboard shows up there and right now it's default for 15 seconds you can change it to whatever now the post game lobby that there is really no way to disable or enable that currently that might that may come in in future versions but if you want to adjust the post game time you can drop it from 30 seconds to whatever you would like uh, again zero seconds is not a recommended way of disabling it but it might work for you it might not and that's basically all the settings that you get to change up the lobby to configure it however you want. But again, the most important thing is to enable and disable, which is delayed start. And there you go. So thank you for watching and uh, make cool stuff.